So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Paper Stars 4. We have of course of the World of Warcraft Universalis mod as the Blackwater Cartel. We are sad about potent uh, about wars. But not in the way you would think. <laughs> we're not sad about wars in itself. We're sad about having to do wars that we might not like. <laughs> That's the issue. Technically, you can go over here and get these boats back. These should all stack together. But yeah, we have some fighting to do, which simply enough is not healthy for us. Either way, we're just gonna do that. Let me just quickly get someone there. We have eclipsed Sandala. Good. And that should be... well... I guess we have to wait for the next one. I mean, we just don't hold up in terms of military strength, do we? At the moment. I mean, technically, numbers-wise, we should easily hold up. But of course, the game is a little bit... Uh, or our colonies are a little bit uh, questionable on all of that. They don't wanna do these things. They are very particular about that. I did want to threaten warn these guys. I, I keep forgetting that. I definitely need economic ideas or something to get rid of that. Inflation problem. I mean, this should go up to 50. Don't, I mean, are you all building it just in one place or... I don't know, so we're just gonna wait. There's no need to rush that. I do need to keep my eyes open if they maybe show up here. Alright, this one done. Let's get this one as well. Oh, seems to be a no new colony in the making. Lovely. I could take navy, now that I think about it, right? Yeah, sure, let's do that. Uh, naval force limit is, I think, easily the first thing here. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I technically want here. May repair at sea is always good. Just for the forgetfulness. But I guess we're gonna start with force limit. I don't even have like a number of... Uh, uh, a size of army that I'm currently creating anyway. Oh, the burning legion is... Why do we... Why, why is it always the fucking burning legion that we have to face eventually? That's just awful. I hate it. Jesus Christ. Is it the same place again? Yeah, it is. Luckily, we still have some people standing there. Guns that are ready. Another military leader? Okay, now I need to give you some back. <laughs> oh, you guys can stop standing on top of each other. Let's just put these guys a little bit spread out. Just to make sure. I mean, we'll see that that's, a g that's gonna be a thing that I'm curious about. If these guys actually fight over here. Or if we just have to wait for something to happen. Because it very, well, very, well, very well may be just waiting. Oh no, I'm not sure if this, guy's, if this should belong to you guys. Oh well. It if we're going to be truly upset about something, we're going to reshuffle it anyway. 
Because technically, if we, for example, start a war against Stormwind, Gratalis is going to be involved, which is going to involve these guys. I really hope that our... Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, look at you. I really hope that our colonies would deal with that here. Hmm. Either way, how much is that? Okay, we, so we need, just need to wait for them to be sad. And let's invite someone again. I guess at this point we can just wait until uh, we might eventually expand administration. Otherwise this is meaningless. So... Colony self-sustaining. This is gonna form a nation soon enough, I assume. We do have too much admin. Well then, I don't think. All oh, right, we don't have barely have any states. Let's see. Did we get any, or is this really? I mean, I can understand it. Oh no, wait. This one. Good. All right, but otherwise, there's nothing else here. Yep. <coughs> Hmm. Still not enough. Guys, just keep going. We've eclipsed Stormwind. It seems. The Orcish Horde announced it as their rival. That is usually quite all right. So, you guys are together. Let's once again do this. And then this. And I think we're gonna do another one. I mean, we want to reach the naval hegemony, so... We might as well push. We have the blowful. That's a bit more reasonable. But still, not that much. I could at some point start accepting some cultures, shouldn't I? <laughs> hmm. Oh, there we go. All right, I have, sti I have this still going. Okay. Fill this up. I mean, there's nothing else to be said about the colonial stuff there. I mean, I guess I could take a look like this, but I feel like... Okay, this is the same, uh, uh, like, South Paradise Isles. So these are gonna be three colonies here. And we'll see when we jump into that. Alright, you guys are actually willing to do that. So let's also tickle some money out of you. Please don't do that again. That is really unpleasant. These wars. Uh, Stormwind. And I guess... No Blacktooth. Okay. Let's quickly check. Wait, didn't we have a uprising? But I think it was immediately dealt with. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, but still. You guys. <coughs> Let's just wait until we have a dude back. Can we do that? No. That's a shame. I mean, if not, I'm just gonna do war. Like, 
Those are the options, guys. So you have you can decide what you would rather have. Of course, a lot of these guys are upset. This one is also. Let's do this. Shendu. There we go. Private Enterprise. The next group, the next colony. We of course re-elect. And we reduce aggressive expansion. And there is military full. Mm -hmm. So we are getting some development around here. It's not gonna really do that much. But we're also getting so close enough to the mana conduit and arcane tower. I'm not even sure if we can build those. I have not checked that yet. Why is this? Uh, like, I, I'm not sure if the automatic building really considers the, up the upgrading. Oh. Black Tooth Grin. I kind of don't care, but <laughs> you do you. I don't know if any major rebellions popping up while we have that. Not really. So I guess we could just continue with our little, acti little activities. Oh, wow, that was actually a lot. Well, to Karasan we go. I should probably also start building the boats in the capital, where it's heavily reduced. I mean, technically it should be actually reduced everywhere, right? Let's see what we get. General understanding. Boring. I'm trying to... Get something done here. And you guys are not allowing me to. There we go. Okay, those are four. I mean, when they show eight guys, then we'll deal with this. I feel like we're also slowly but surely running out of stuff here again. It's also so messy, I'm not even sure what belongs to me. <laughs> I have to admit. <sighs> One fine day we will do something about it. You guys probably... I mean, this is a thing. You guys. Ik Chairo. You have claims on a uh, sliver plate. Sliver plate that is. Who's that? It's one of these, I assume. There we go, these guys. Or underworld minions, which is these guys, which should also be alright. And underworld minions does not. Oh no, do you have an ally? Or do you have, oh, you have Sunderla on your side, okay. No, then actually sliver plates. Let's see if they would. I mean, at this point, this is just a test because I want to see how well they do. Silverblade Conquest. Are they gonna do anything for it, or is this gonna be just a hilarious mess? Because at the moment, they're not moving. I had a distinct feeling that it's probably gonna end up that way. Not gonna lie. 
Alright, I can click Stormwind again, so I'm just gonna do Stormwind again if you guys don't mind. <laughs> That's a bit goofy. Uh, army. Oh, that we don't need, that we don't need. War Extortion Regiment cost. Is there a mercenary modifier here? Yes, mercenary maintenance and cost. Oh, do we even want that? I think at this, I mean, money is not a problem, so we don't care. I would rather actually take the land force limit at this point. Because we're running out of mercenaries anyway, so... <laughs> no much to be said about that, right? Okay, I guess we're gonna keep eclipsing Stormwind until... We're no longer clicking it. Oh no, they're now out of the list. Sure. Then we're gonna pick Lord of Dawn. Oh no, they actually did something good. At least something. <coughs> Excuse me. That was probably one of the sneezes, sneezes I've ever uh, emitted. <laughs> Picture book sneezing. Okay, like I said, I don't want anyone that actually does sp uh, increased speed. Because then they can no longer move these guys together, so... It's very simple like that. Alright, Kalasan. I want Ravenhill. Let's wait also until these guys pop up. Then we're also give, gonna give them a leader. So... Okay, that's the last province on this island, on, on this island group. That's a letter. Yeah, that is, <laughs> that is a letter. <laughs> I guess the next thing we do is uh, over here. I don't think that you guys have any space left. I guess down here. And I kind of would be willing to just get some provinces here. I know that we still have Sandala to do. And yeah. Someone else is slowly but surely creeping into that. Hmm. I guess we're gonna do this one then. Next. As simple as that. Oh. 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 Alright. Oh. I see. I mean, I guess that also works. Not much to be said about that. Yeah, this also works. <sighs> God dang it. <laughs> Alright, Ravenhill is down. I mean, we can, we can technically go up to here. I could potentially... Oh, you're, you're a vessel of Black Tooth Grin. Okay. Then I can't threaten you. So you... <laughs> done your stuff. Okay, okay. I mean, now I need to do this a little bit more reasonable, obviously. Oh yeah, I am at war, so you guys are at war ex with me. Okay, so I have to wait until we're in times of peace before I can force these things upon you. Do we get... Are we not getting more dudes here? I feel like we did. Oh, you're all doing it in one province. I guess that's gonna slow it down, yes. Can I say anything else about that? Uh, we're also done in this war, to be honest. So... Thanks, Kalasan. I mean, you wanted a war, so I gave you one. So 
Stop it. Let me do this first. All right, so everyone come back home. Uh, storm wind, storm wind, storm wind, storm wind, or the orcish horde. At our two next targets. They obviously have everyone joining. There is no question about that. This is going to be a long war then. And we'll hope that uh, underwater we'll be able to deal with it. So, like I said, you guys. What kind of wars can I start with you? Still only this one. Okay, I want you to fo first focus on these guys. But talk. Let's see. What do you have to offer? Oh, wow. <laughs> you have also enforced religion on everybody. That's very cool. You can attack on Gonshu. How many troops do you even have? 29k and Gonshu has 27. That's questionable. Spearfang is, I mean, is part of your group. Spearfang and, yeah, that's about it. Spearfang and Gonshu. There's nobody else. And Spearfang is not that strong. Alright. Let's see if you have a claim on that. You don't. You have one on Underworld minions for some reason, which... I guess... These guys are weakened? You guys... Uh, doesn't make any sense. But these guys could potentially make sense. You have 27k. Let's see. Burabi. Okay, you also only have Enforced Religion. I see. Oh, Chiraga. There it is. Let's see if they can get something done. Or if this is gonna be embarrassing to watch. Oh, and the H is changing. Good, good. Uh, let's quickly go through all of this. Uh, we are gonna go for Warrior, more Shock, and more Fire. So... We can have more boats. Always more boats. I mean, I just want to make this into one big navy. And you know how I like my navies. 50-50. Yeah, let's quickly go to Booty Bay, because I think this is just gonna be faster. Let's actually go up to 50 here, and you to 40. We do need a lot of heavies for uh, uh, the hegemony as well, so we might as well do that. Yeah, I want to wait until these guys are done with their war here. So, you guys are all done. Oh, you di oh I didn't wait for you to have a decent navy yet. <laughs> these guys wanted or something, right? Good. Uh, are you gonna push troops over here, or are you just gonna wait? Um, it looks currently looks like you're waiting. All right, let's let's start our colonization on Sandala. Uh, a thousand, of course. You guys are gonna actually kaput something. Wait, did you guys get beaten up? No, you're just weaker. Okay. I guess because I took that. Is my assumption. Well, actually, that actually did push me quite forward. On just overall strength. I mean, I guess it does do a bit. Oh, some da and Danasus has formed. Okay, I'm actually gonna get you guys over here at this point. Uh, 
Yeah, we have some native rising here, but that technically should be alright. They're gonna of course slowly but surely grow. But it's not uh, uh, enough to siege something down. I feel like they're gonna actually lose territory in this war. Because they're creating light ships everywhere. And galleys. Yeah, it's a bit shit. It's a tiny bit shit. I should have probably waited a few more seconds. They don't trust themselves to go onto the water now. That's the issue. Because they technically have enough boats together. But because all of these boats are separate, I think they I think that they cannot fight uh, this. Unless, of course... Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see what gets out of this. Uh, like I said, eventually we will probably start our war with Sin Shada anyway. I just want to become a little bit stronger. And basically do this one mission before... Oh wait, that actually was a little bit too much. Whatever. Uh, and I want to wait until I actually have this one mission finally done, so I can just conquer freely. That's my current biggest issue. Separation of powers. Powerful legislature? Nope. Reg regional assemblies gives us the diet. Uh, gives us the parliament. Autonomous institution gives us years of separatism. Limited councils gives us advisor cost. I think it is time that we parliament a bit around. And the first thing we do is add the capital to a parliament. That decreases our absolutism, which I don't give a shit about. Because I don't really have absolutism. Uh, what do we want here? I guess we are gonna go with the colony. Boop. Or with the colonist. Speed it up, boys. <laughs> Speed it up. <laughs> we just have a certain amount of speeds. Okay, you have 30k and you have black rock on your side. You have Hakadi as a vessel. I think it is time that we finally face the Orcish Horde. Head on. Yeah, this is for some reason not getting built, so I'm building it. This one as well. This is, I guess, the problem with automatic stuff. Alright, we also... Arcane Tower. Yes. We can only have one of those anyway. I live among the creatures of the night. I haven't got the will to try and fight. Okay. You guys are still working? Okay, you're nearly done. There we go. You know what? Here we go. Let's finish this up. We do have a claim on you anyway. They actually made landfall here. Please, for the love of God, do something. Don't don't let them just conquer y conquer you. Podapi, please. <laughs> don't don't do it, Podapi. Don't be stupid. <laughs> ah, that is not good. Well, no longer my problem. <laughs> okay, short. You're on tech 11, which I am also... No, wait, actually, I'm tech 12. That should be a significant advantage. We do our own claim, obviously. Let's see how well this goes. I mean, I would, ne would need to meet the armies. To fight them. I mean, just occupy this one as well. I probably also should not stack like that. We can just do the easily easily do this. There we go. Now you have a navy. And now you're occupying their lands. Good. Okay, this is not going too bad. Lovely, lovely, lovely. There is their army. Uh, you guys should be able to walk at least together. Can we walk to you is the question. 
I would like to attack this army. Okay, so we can technically walk... Okay, so they cannot run from us. That's always a good bit of information. Yeah, these guys are a little bit bigger. We're gonna deal with those. Riches tension. Whatever. Whatever. Are we at the scout run or? Very cool, thank you. Okay, you guys go over here. Let's see if they run away. They do, but we should be able to catch them. But this time, this time I'm not gonna be stupid. Yeah, we're gonna end the episode here. So I go always like survival shenanigans. I guess see you guys next episode. Bye!